Yo, what up, y'all? It's your boy Jay Titan the Builder, and uh, this is a review of Star Wars. So, like the title says, Star Wars Rise of Skywalker. This will have spoilers. So, because I'm not doing two videos, we're gonna do one video, right, baby? Okay, so as you guys know, it's been a lot going on out there in the world about this new Star Wars movie, mixed feelings, a lot of critics. Rotten Tomatoes didn't really give it a good score. I think it was like a 58, maybe, probably less than that. Um, it's been a lot of YouTubers out there, a lot of famous people, critics, pretty much, saying that the movie wasn't good. It didn't end good. It was trash. But I love Star Wars, as you guys know, and I'm my own person. I don't let what people re read or what they write or what they say about the movie stop me from seeing the movie. And Evelyn here, she, you know, I'm going to let her speak for herself about Star Wars and everything like that and let her get into her stuff. But before you start talking about the video, go ahead and, and you know. Yeah, well, I, she don't really know too much about <laughs> Star Wars at all. Okay, yeah. so let's get to the movie. Yeah. Coming from somebody who don't know anything about Star Wars, just to go watch the movie with me. Baby, what you think about the movie, honestly? Uh, it was interesting. I've never watched one movie, any Star Wars movie. So, for the first time watching it, um, it was, you know, pretty interesting. It was, you know, at first it's hard to know who was who, what's going on. That's why I come but, Yeah. <laughs> uh, you help me out, you know. I have a little question like, who's that? Who's this? But toward, but it was I had a lot of action, like so. It kept me, you know, one hundred percent, you know, on top of the movie. And was like, okay, oh, what's gonna happen next? I'm like, oh, okay, what? Well, I, I enjoyed the movie. Well, for me, the movie was really good. From when it first came on, everybody know every Papa team was gonna be in the movie. Uh, it's been leaked in the trailers and stuff. I wish they would have never did that and kept that like a secret. And that would have been like, whoa! Like when Marvel Endgame, when Captain America grabbed the hammer. It would have been, it would have had that same uproar and people getting loud like, whoa! So, you know, if they would have never put that in the trailer, that would have been, that would have been dope. Um, and of course, their property team, like I said, he was in the movie. His role was pretty cool. Um, my favorite, some of my favorite scenes was. Just like the lightsaber battles, to be honest, I'm a, I, I'm really a dark side type of person, and to see Kylo Ren again, spoiler, to see Kylo Ren go from the dark side back to the light side, to see you know Han Solo pop up was pretty amazing for me. Um, all hands around, like really, it was a really good movie. Um, the actors, of course, was amazing. You know, everybody know Princess Leia passed away already, so to see her go, and at the same time to see Ben die as well was like. What? It was like, it was, that was a shocker for me. I didn't know, you know, he was going to die. If Ben Solo was going to die. Like, and it was, it was, it was really cool just to see like, you know, how they tied the movie together. And yes, it kind of took a different role from the last movie that came out. But let's just be honest, me personally, again, I don't know about what critics say and everything like that. I, the only part that was really good to me in the last movie, The Last Jedi, was when they was fighting the Red Legion with Emperor Snoke. That part was that that was the hard part about the whole movie. The whole telepathic phone calls, but that's that's enough of that movie. We on to this movie. What was your what would you say your favorite scene was in the movie, baby? Oh. Uh, my favorite scene, I don't know, honestly. Um I enjoyed the oh, like I said, I enjoyed the whole movie. Um I just enjoyed one like one of my favorite characters because I you know, I always hear it and I've seen it and I hear it and I think it's like you know, funny and cute was Chewbacca, so whatever. Any scene that he came out in was something I enjoyed watching. Like I said, I really can't pick, pick point and be like, oh, I want, I like this one, this only scene. And like, I just, as a new person, I was like, okay, this is something different for me to be watching. You know, the there's action. I'm like, and I like that. I'm like, there was now a time where I was like, oh, I'm bored. I'm like, so, like I said, I'm like, I don't have a favorite part. I just like the I just like the whole movie. Well, there there it is, y'all. Wifey liked the whole part. The whole movie was good, and I gotta agree with her. From when it came on, it was just straight action, 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 action. It kind of got down a little bit, but then it picked back up right away. Um, one of the scenes that I feel like was really CGI and really was really good was when Emperor Palpatine threw his hands up to do his lightning into the sky, and it was taking out the whole rebel rebel. Rebel Fleet, the whole little, their little alliance was getting towed up. That, it was crazy. I like how, um, 
it, it really describes like how he got his powers back and how they connected and everything like that. And to see Ray and Kylo kiss, that's right. And the end was like, oh, snaps. And then Ray knowing her background, like, oh my God, I'm a Papa teen. Like, oh, that is crazy. So for me, as being a Star Wars fan, and it was really a lot of fandom for the fans. And there is no disappointment on my end. The movie is truly good. I can't wait to see what they do next. Um, seeing the Force Ghosts, hearing everybody voice when Ray was like, oh, the, I am a Jedi, it lives in me, and everything like that. I'm every Jedi that ever lived. Hearing Yoda voice, hearing Anakin voice, Obi Wan Kenobi voice, uh, Luke, Leia's, it was just, it was just really good. It was really good. I, if I, if I say so myself, I like how Ray got a new lightsaber. Like it was her own at the end of the movie. That was pretty cool. And it is, you know, it's, it was sad to see Kylo pass away, but you know, at the end of the day, it's the end of the Skywalkers. Something new, something totally different. That's what they got going on. Um, also, a scene I like that Emperor Palpatine did was when he told <laughs> Kylo, uh, what did he say? I want to get on the money. Boom. When he was said, ha, huh, I'm going to kill you the same way. I'm going to end the Skywalker bloodline the same way they tried to end mine. And he threw him off the cliff. Like, you know, when Darvish said, no, 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 he just threw him down. It was just like that, like, oh, so some nostalgia and everything there. At the end of the day, I'm tired of talking. They were looking at me like, can you please stop talking? <laughs> <laughs> the movie was really good. Then what everybody say, go see it for yourself and be your own judge. Be your own person. And also, grab me some collectible cups right here. Like, all right, the Red Stormtroopers, it was cold. <laughs> it was cold. Kylo Ren, uh, I think his his guard was called the Kylo, the Kylo Guards or something like that. They, they, were, they really didn't do a lot of action fighting. But they were sneaky though. They was on the rebels' ass. They was like, they was there, like, we here. Yeah, where you going? We we here. Surprise. But uh, all right, y'all. I guess I catch on the next review. Again, this is a spoiler warning. So go see the movie before you watch this. Then come back and watch this. If you'd like to see us do more of these type of videos, be sure to thumbs up the video, like, subscribe, comment, and share. I can't stress this enough. It's your boy Jay Tight. Alexa, turn off Excelsior. And I'll see you in the next one, y'all. <laughs>